For returning student registration, log in with your family access credentials. And although this says student database, down below, you know you're logging into the correct place when it says family student access. So parents and students have user credentials for Family Skyward. This area here is where you will see student registration. Go ahead and click on your child's name. You might have more than one here. Right over here on the right hand side, you can click student information to begin the registration process. Make sure that all the student information is correct. And for secondary students, you can include the student's cell phone here and your child's school email here. This is so teachers can send class notifications to the student as well as the parent. All secondary students have an email address, which is their student ID at calallenorg.onmicrosoft.com. Make sure to scroll down this area here. Please pay close attention to. This is where you will allow your child to go on field trips, have their picture or name published. When you've completed everything, go ahead and click on complete step 1A and move to step 1B. Make sure your family address is correct. Once it is, make sure to click on the button down below. Again, you're just going through all of the information and making sure that it is all correct. Making sure that your email is correct, it is a working email as well as your cell and work phone numbers that they haven't changed. If they have changed, this is where you will edit that. Okay, and just continue through the steps. If your emergency contacts are correct, go ahead and leave it alone. You can also add or change emergency contact order. When complete, click the button on the bottom. For the annual health history, go ahead and scroll down. Make sure to include emergency contacts here. And then go ahead and include your name, which will act as your digital signature. Once everything is complete, click the button here to move on to the next step. For the student residency questionnaire, if you do not want to fill it out, you click here. If you do, you can check this box here. For the migrant survey, again, if you do not wish to fill out this form, check here. If you do, scroll down and check here. Once complete, you can click over here on the military connected form. Again, you can choose to not fill this out or you can. for the student and parent acknowledgement of the handbook and student code of conduct. If you would like to print this page here, you can go ahead and click this and it will allow you the option to print this page. These links here will take you to each handbook. Once you have gone through the handbooks, parent and student can check here and here. Drug-free schools, again, parent here and student here. Medication, proof of residency, this one right here is really important. It's the Internet and Technology Tools Terms of Agreement. If you agree to allow your student to access the Internet or any online service, you would select these two here. If you do not give permission for your student to access the Internet or online services, you would select these here. But just keep in mind that a lot of what the students do in class is on the Internet or is some type of online program such as AR, state testing, just so many things that the students do, Office 365, Google EDU, that we have the students utilize in the classroom. Okay, once you have accepted all the terms, go ahead and click the bottom. Again, go ahead and add your emergency contact for your physician and hospital preference. And we encourage everybody to fill out a lunch application. Whether or not you think you qualify, please go ahead and fill out that application. To fill out an application, click this link here. 
That will take you over to the mill application. Make sure that you certify. I'm going to click the bottom button. For students who check out calculators, I believe this is more at the secondary level. Go ahead and click this and this and then the button. Okay, and once everything has been completed, you can click on Submit Student Registration. Okay, so if you see this in green that it was successfully completed, you are now done with your child's registration. If you wanna go back and make some changes, you can click this option right here. It will mark it as not completed and you will be able to make those changes.